So it doesn't matter what kind of webcam you have. I'm going to be using today a webcam that is under $50. This is going to work just fine. Now, it's not going to give you quality like the camera that I got right here. What you're seeing here is a $2,000 camera that I'm utilizing. But if you utilize these three settings, it is going to improve the image quality. So let's take a look at this. This is going to be the default image that comes out of the webcam that I have here. Again, it's not a bad image, but we can make it better to be able to create a better experience. Again, as the smaller this image gets, the less you notice the little details in the quality. But if you're trying to use it at a big scale like this, if you're doing a just chatting, you want to make sure this is going to be clear. So we're going to just apply three settings that can be utilized across the board to make this look better. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to come here to where your webcam is. You're going to right click on it and we're going to start with the properties. So this is the first thing we want to be able to adjust. So as you come down here, you have two options. A lot of the times the webcam you're utilizing gives you a resolution or FPS type. If you can set this to custom, that's going to be great. And then you can come here and put it at 1920 by 1080. That's already going to give you a better image quality. Then when it comes to FPS, you can go ahead and increase this or lower it. So again, if you do highest FPS, this is also going to give you a better quality and it's also going to look a lot smoother. So as we start to scroll down here, you're going to see video format. You can leave that as any. And then when you come down here to the color space, you can do rec.709. Again, this is just going to give it a more realistic kind of color. And then color range, you can go between limited or full. Either one is going to be totally fine. I typically lean towards limited, but we can take a look at full. And you can see that the image quality is kind of changing already slightly on the back end. So then here's what I want to come down here where it says use hardware decoding when available. I'm going to select yes. Okay, and then I'm going to hit OK. So that is just going to be like the default settings we can adjust on the actual webcam. Now, we want to apply two filters here. So you'll right click, you'll come to filters, we'll come to effect filters, hit this little plus icon. And the first one we're going to do is a color correction. So all we're going to do here is try to adjust the colors as much as possible. So the best place to look for this is to just look at my desk and the blacks around me as well so you can see the quality so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to reduce the gamma what this is going to do is that you see if we go up it's going to make it really bright but if we go down it's going to make it a little bit darker and again it makes those colors a little bit more richer so then as far as the saturation we can go ahead and increase this just a bit to add a little bit more of a pop to certain the colors right and then the contrast we can lower this just slightly to again get that truer black so again it's a little bit darker but we can see the quality that we're getting now where we've kind of removed a little bit of the fuzziness and again this is going to work across any single webcam that you have so that's going to be the first option that we have there the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come hit this little plus icon and we're going to hit sharpen you're going to press ok and all you want to do is this is not something you want to increase dramatically because if you do you can see it creates a lot of noise a lot of static so what I typically like to do is trying to bring it up to maybe five or six, press OK. And now we have a better looking image. Now, it's going to be super important that you have good lighting because the lighting is going to matter in regards to how well this webcam is going to produce. Now, again, it's a webcam. It's 1080p. It's going to do the best that it possibly can. But if I'm streaming and I'm lowering this and bringing this down to a smaller scale, you can see here that the quality is going to look good. Most people are going to be watching you on mobile either way. But if you apply these settings the way that I've shown you, you're going to instantly, no matter what webcam you have, is going to take whatever image you have and improve the quality of it. But if you wanted to say, hey, I want to upgrade from a webcam and not really spend $2,000 on a camera like I have, then what I encourage you to do is to utilize your mobile phone. These are amazing cameras that you can go ahead and utilize and they connect directly into OBS fairly easy. And I show you in this video how to set it up, how to get your phone into OBS so you can utilize it as a webcam. Click that video right there. I'll see you in the next one.